When I was just a lad, okay, I was 20. I used to live in Busan, and that's mainly where I learned how to speak Korean. Then a year later, I went to Seoul for my first time, and I realized, 서울 사람들 정말 알아듣기 쉽게 얘기하네요. And I could suddenly understand so much more Korean than I could when I was in Busan. How could that be? All Korean people speak Korean, but depending on where someone's from in Korea, they might use a different dialect. Kind of like how people in California speak English differently from people in England. Hey, sup, dude? Hello, governor! And there are six major dialects in South Korea, one for each district in Korea. Gyeonggi-do, Gangwon-do, Chungcheong-do, Gyeongsang-do, Jeolla-do, and Jeju-do. So here are some examples of each of those dialects. This is the type of Korean most people learn, and you'll hear it used everywhere in radio, movies, and television. This type of Korean is also referred to as standard Korean or pyojuno. Now, people in Seoul can sometimes speak differently from what's considered standard Korean, but for all intents and purposes, this is the standard Korean that you'll learn in textbooks. Now, technically, Gyeonggi-do doesn't include the city of Seoul, but we're talking about dialects and not the official boundary lines. But let's not get too technical here. <laughs> and everyone in Korea can understand this type of Korean. Unless your pronunciation's really bad, of course. 저는 미국 사람이 아닙니다. 뭐라는 거야? Still, there are a few features of Gyeonggi-do dialect that make it unique such as pronouncing the ah sound as o oh in some cases when conjugating it. People from this area speak pretty clearly and the words that they use can easily be found in a dictionary. And when they speak, their intonation, the way that words are emphasized in a sentence, is pretty smooth. 안녕하세요, 저는 빌리라고 합니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. 가가, 가가. 가라고? Gyeongsangdo dialect is spoken in the cities of Busan, Ulsan, and Daegu, and each city is slightly different. Among those, Busan dialect is the most well-known, and I think the most interesting. First of all, Busan dialect can have some harsh-sounding intonation. So when you hear this dialect for the first time, it might sound like people are arguing with each other, even when they're just talking normally. And you can hear how different the intonation is from standard Korean. 나랑 밥 먹으러 갈래? And not only does the dialect affect the way they speak, it also affects the way they behave. For example, people from Gyeongsangdo don't like to beat around the bush. They like to get straight to the point. So their sentences will often be a lot shorter than people from other areas of Korea. So they can come across as being very direct and sometimes even a bit rude, but that's not intentional. You'll find Gyeongsangdo people to be just as friendly as other Koreans. Unless you make them angry, which is pretty easy to do. Their pronunciation of certain sounds can also be a bit lazier than what you'd hear in standard Korean. So instead of regular words like 의사, 사과, and 어디, in Gyeongsangdo you might hear 이사, 사과, and 어디. 어디. Now usually this isn't a problem, but in some cases it can cause confusion. Mmm. Oh, 국산살이... In addition, men who speak Busan dialect are seen by other Koreans as being masculine. And women who speak Busan dialect are seen as being extra cute. And a lot of TV shows and movies are based around this dialect, so the characters will speak like this. Moving on. The major city in Gangwon-do is Gangneung. Gangwon-do is famous for its mountains as well as its agriculture and there are farms all over the place. Oh, 날이 온다! Some people in Gangwon-do will end their sentences with 레오 instead of the more standard 이에요 and 예요. 제가 미국 사람이래요. 당연하지 않소. And just like any dialect, there are vocabulary words, grammar, and phrases that you can hear in Gangwon-do that you might not hear anywhere else in Korea. 저기요, 정랑은 어디래요? 정랑. 정랑이라고요? 아, 정랑은 <웃음> 됐어요. But you won't be able to hear much of a difference between most people living in Gangwon-do and Seoul because they're not that far apart. Now, the largest city in Chungcheong-do is Daejeon. People from here tend to speak more slowly than people from other areas. 안녕하세요. So they can sometimes come across as sounding friendlier than other Koreans. 어디 가는겨? 핵교유. 
Uh, Korea? You might often hear the you ending used in place of the standard yo ending. But they also mostly speak the same as people from Gyeonggi-do. Cholado is also known as Honam, which means south of the lake, because it's south of a lake. There's a lake and it's south. And this includes the major city of Gwangju. One unique verb ending that you might hear around this area is Burida, which adds emphasis to a sentence. And you also might notice some sentences ending in sho instead of seyo from standard Korean. 안녕하쇼. Another word that you might hear around this area is koshigi, which means whatchamacallit or so and so, and can be used whenever you forget what something's called or even someone's name. You'll hear this word used in other areas of Korea as well, but it's most common in Cholado. I don't even think you can call Jejudo a dialect of Korean. It's more like a completely different language. Now, Jejudo dialect has been influenced throughout history from Japanese as well as Mongolian. In fact, over 75% of Jejudo dialect doesn't even exist in standard Korean. Now, to illustrate this, let's first hear a sentence in Jejudo dialect and then again in standard Korean. And now in standard Korean, yeah, it's like that. Jejudo is an island, and because it's isolated from the rest of the mainland, and because it developed independently, even many Koreans who live in Jejudo can't understand or speak Jejudo dialect. But these days, younger people in Jejudo will just speak standard Korean with maybe a drop or two of the dialect. Mohamed. It's the older folk who still know Jejudo dialect that can cause some communication problems. Tokyo, 혹시 버스 정류장이 어디인지 아세요? 이 쪽구들에 있수다. 뭐라고요? One cool thing about Jejudo dialect is that it still uses an old archaic Korean vowel that's been long since retired from the standard Korean alphabet. This vowel sound is pronounced ao, and it's an important vowel in the Jejudo dialect. Now, if you've studied Korean already, you'll know how important it is to use the correct politeness level when speaking to people who are older than you and younger than you. But in Jejudo, that's less of an issue. In most cases, it's okay to use the same level of speech to someone who's older than you as well as younger than you. And there's just too much about Jejudo dialect to fit in this one video, but it's really a unique dialect to learn about and a lot of fun. But honestly, not useful. Now, I've only mentioned the major dialects in Korean. There will be differences depending on who you talk to, where they're from and how old they are. One thing to note is that there are no real rules when speaking dialect, and these are just some things that you might find. So let me know if I missed anything in the comments. What? Oh, that's North Korean dialect. Yeah, I don't have time for that today. Maybe next time. Thanks for watching, and remember that I upload new videos to this channel every week, so if you haven't done so already, click subscribe and follow along. Chonin mi kuk salami ipnik nida.